We've been told we can't reveal the airline of this plane, but we've been given access to this plane. It's a Boeing 737, and we're going to show you how the cargo compartment works and what it looks like. Usually have three or four luggage workers who raise the door. They have a ramp here normally, but because we don't have a ramp, we just simulate what they do. They throw their bags in the plane. Try to take good care with your bag so they don't break your valuables, which occasionally does happen, I suppose. And then I'm going to go inside to give you a look at what it looks like inside the cargo hold. There are two cargo compartments in the Boeing 737. This is the one in the front near the cockpit, first class right above me. There's another one in the aft in the back. It's a smaller one. But this is where all your bags go. It's about 30 feet long, this bigger one, about 8 feet wide. And you can see if a luggage worker has worked a long day and he's waiting for bags to arrive, he can sit right here, have a soft bag of the pillow, and maybe um, just doze off. We now want to conduct an experiment to see how likely it is that someone under here would be heard by the flight crew or the flight attendants or the passengers. With me here is Dave Snell. Dave is an aircraft mechanic here. When you heard this story, did it shock you? Well, not really, because you know, being human after a long day, you know, we could, you know, find a cozy spot and fall asleep. Okay, so it's not stunning to you? No. I mean, it's not supposed to happen, but, you know, it does. It can happen. Okay. What we want to do is we, these planes don't have fuel to operate the engines right now. So we want to replicate the noise. We're going to do it with this very loud tug. Eric, how you doing? Good. Can you turn on the tug for us? Get up some noise. All right, so that's some noise to try to replicate the situation when the plane was actually flying. Dave, I'm going to go back inside. Will you, um, to show you how dark it is, because it is pitch dark, can you close the door when I get inside? By all means. Okay. Give it a close. All right, so now you can see it is pitch dark inside here. I'm going to put a flashlight on. There you go. And now you can see me, but you can't see very much else. OK, so amid the noise, we're putting Dave in the cockpit to see if he can hear me. This is the flight deck. So here I am stuck. The plane is rolling down the runway. We're in the air. I want to get the heck out of here. Can you guys hear me? Hey, get me out of here! Get me out of here! You hear me? Yeah, I can hear, I can hear banging. So Dave did indeed hear me from up top, but if it didn't, and my life depended upon it, I certainly could have kicked harder and yelled even louder. It is pressurized inside here, but it is very tight and very dark. And if you're claustrophobic, this would be a very frightening place to be, particularly if you were in flight. Gary joins me now. Passengers, I mean, said they, they heard screams coming from the cargo area. Do you know if a passenger could have heard you and would they have been able to? The answer is yes. And we know that firsthand, Anderson, because we relegated our producer, Isha Strada, to a first class seat on the plane while I was doing the demonstration. And he heard me louder and clearer than the mechanic did in the cockpit. And the main reason for that is I was directly under first class. But on a real flight, you also have the situation where you have pilots who are wearing headphones and talking. They're busy. So it may be more likely that a passenger in the front of the plane would hear knocking. So if you hear knocking, Anderson, or you hear screaming, and you're a passenger, it's probably best off that you tell somebody about it.